So an email, Trudy asked what to do if you're bitten on a hike. And actually we got several questions about this. So what happens if you're out on a trail and you are bitten by a rattlesnake? Uh, and I'm gonna separate this into two answers because there's also a lot of uh, questions here about what happens if you're bitten at home or just in general, or if a kid is bitten or all these different scenarios. Um, the, the fortunate thing is that there is a simple answer to that. You call 911, that's it. Um, you are probably have been raised um, with any number of uh, home remedies or um, internet solutions or things that you heard from your grandpa or a neighbor or um, even people that you should trust with information about being outdoors, a park ranger or um, a you know, Cub Scout leader or, or someone that, that works with snakes. Um, but none of those things are meaningful. None of them really work. Um, what you need to do is get to a hospital. The only thing that's going to meaningfully uh, affect a rattlesnake bite is to have a doctor uh, treat that and uh, give antivenom and um, watch what happens and treat what happens. I'm not a doctor, so always do what your doctor says over anything I say. But uh, yeah, if anything that you think would help a little bit, none of it's going to help as much as uh, calling 911. If, if, if that starts bringing off a list of other, well, should I hike down the trail or should I get to the parking lot? I would call 911 and ask that person and they will tell you um, what you should do. Um, if you're at home, same situation. I really don't like a lot of the lists that I see that are like, here's what you do if you see a, if you're bitten by a rattlesnake and a list lasts five or six things, because usually call for help is down near the bottom somewhere after a bunch of really superficial stuff. You, know, you can remove the jewelry you have because it's gonna swell, you know, try to remain calm, things like that. But ultimately what you need to do is get help. And if you're in a place, if you're out hiking, and you're in a place where you don't have cell phone service, um, then you need to get to a place that has cell phone service. Or if you're with somebody, you send them to go get help to get cell phone service. And you know, really most places that people hike, especially around the valley where the majority of people hike, um, it's really not that hard to find a bar, you know, or to send someone to the top or hike calmly down the trail. You don't want to take shortcuts off road. Uh, you don't want to run back to the, the car and get your your uh, heart rate up and then try to drive yourself to the hospital. Um, it, it's not gonna make a difference whether you go for a helicopter ride from the, the mountain or a helicopter ride from the trailhead. You're going for a helicopter ride. So um, call 911 as soon as you possibly can. That usually goes into a line of questions about, well, what if I'm way off trail? And, um, I don't have any way of getting help. You know, or I'm, I'm so far off trail, nobody knows where I'm at. Um, I, I have no way of contacting anybody. I don't have any any emergency plan whatsoever. Um, yeah, there's not a lot you can do. I and mean, I can't tell you that there's any you know special rubbing on your leg that's gonna help anything. Um, I can say that in those situations, then a rattlesnake bite is not necessarily more deadly than a broken leg or a fall or any other type of accident. Uh, the solution there is if you put yourself in those situations, you should be uh, planning for it. You should have somebody that's expecting you at a certain time or you should be um, getting a spot device or a GPS or, you know, planning ahead. That's how it goes. Uh, if you're at home, uh, same thing. Just call 911. That's it. You're going to live if you're in Arizona. I think the last person that actually died from a rattlesnake bite in Arizona was in 2014. And uh, it was, she also had some other problems and some heart conditions. Um, so it's something that is, is exceptionally survivable. Uh, especially here in Arizona where we have um, you know more rattlesnakes than anywhere more diversity than anywhere it's the fastest growing area in the country and still deaths don't really happen so uh, try to keep calm remember that the the math is is overwhelming in, in your favor and call 911 and and, uh, and do whatever they say <laughs>